What if I were to tell you that Tears of the Kingdom is going to likely end up looking way better than you think it does? All those concerns about the resolution and how clear the image is going to be may all be for not, even if Nintendo does not give us new hardware for that specific game. Why? Well, Nintendo has done something extremely clever, and I can't wait to dive into the news about Tears of the Kingdom today. That being said, I do want to remind you that, hey, you know what? Our channel and this video are sponsored by eWin Racing. When it comes to buying a gaming office chair, don't just trust anyone. I've dealt with crappy chairs from Amazon, Walmart, even Office Depot. No, trust eWin Racing, who has a chair just the right size for you. Trust me, one size doesn't fit all. <laughs> you can relate to this guy right there. That's why Ewin Racing offers five different size chairs so you can get the exact fit to your height and weight. Don't settle for your local pick up, it's free, or Facebook Marketplace lightly used chairs. Of course, what you actually want to know is, hey, what is this going to cost me? Well, thanks to discount code Nintendo Prime, you can take a chair from Ewin Racing that's over $200 and get it for just $183. Whoa! Is that still a bit steep for your wallet today? Well, thanks to Klarna and Afterpay, you can split your payment for your chair into four payments over four months completely interest free no credit check required that way you can get your much needed chair today so what are you waiting for get your chair to complete your gaming setup right now just be sure to use code nintendo prime at checkout to get your 20 percent off link will be in the description or the additional text attached to this video let's get right into this by talking about what has happened so you guys know that we occasionally talk about patents at the channel that are relevant to either specific games or potential future systems or ideas Nintendo at least has played around with. Well, we have a new patent, but this isn't coming from your typical place, right? Usually we're going to the US Patent Office, we glance at stuff, but that's not where this comes from. It actually comes from Japan, and there's a very specific reason why we think this is related to Zelda. So first off, I wanna give credit to my Nintendo News for bringing this to my attention. This was filed in Japan, and the entire patent is related to image processing using examples that show various types of walls and surfaces, you know, things like cliff faces and stuff like that. Now, why the heck do we think this is actually related to Zelda, right? It's an image processing. They've had patents like this before. Well, first off, what is a specific quote from this thing? It says, it's an image processing method that expresses objects with a sense of transparency with a low processing load. It basically is repeating textures in a very clever, low processing way uh, by basically pushing a texture through to the other side of an object. It's extremely detailed how this thing works, but why do we think it's really the Zelda? Let's, we, we really need to focus in on what does this matter for Zelda? So the biggest giveaway that this is actually related to Tears of the Kingdom is that one of the inventors, Akashi Miyagi, has worked as a design lead on games like Twilight Princess and The Wind Waker. The patent itself shows many surfaces that can be related directly to Breath of the Wild and likely, obviously, Tears of the Kingdom. It's using the same world, while also someone who has worked directly with the franchise points to this being a tech user used in the game. Likely this would not be the only game to see it used in. This person has done work on a few other uh, IPs as well, including Mario, although he hasn't worked on, I guess, a game specific thing since 2015. Now, the reason that we're bringing up this patent is because what it is doing is taking some of the processing load off of the CPU and allowing it to do other things by giving us easier ways to repeat textures and well up the resolution it's actually talked about in the patent this is not the same as fsr this is not the same as dlss which by the way don't be surprised if there is fsr at play we should probably already have thought they would use the fsr technology in tears of the kingdom because they've used it in even games such as nintendo switch sports so of course they are likely using it in tears of the kingdom as well but pairing this which does some texture work and takes a lot of load off the system actually might even allow FSR to run even better. So FSR in combination with this new technology, which makes no sense not to use it, 
the reason you might see this patent out here, even though we aren't sure uh, what game it's going to be part of, is because this is this is pretty generalized, right? There's a lot of things in here that point to it potentially being Zelda, specifically a lot of the example images, but. At the end, we don't know for sure, and it's not a spoiler for anything. This is literally just basically a development tool chain that's going to allow Nintendo to more easily free up CPU to allow it to do other things for the game. So this could also end up fixing up some things like some of the uh, FPS issues we've had at times once in a while, especially when you see big explosions in Breath of the Wild. Well, now apply this to Tears of the Kingdom. This kind of means that Tears of the Kingdom could look better and play better and that is great obviously we're grasping at straws a little bit when it comes to tears of the kingdom information because what we want is game information i know some people are actually worried about this game and worried about its performance I find that interesting as i'm playing through master mode on breath of the wild i still find the game to be quite gorgeous but i do think that this game is obviously built for the ground up for nintendo switch that alone was going to enable more possibilities then you throw on technologies like fidelity FX super resolution and throw in obviously this new technology patented by somebody who's worked directly on the Zelda series as a designer. And I honestly think we're going to end up being, you know what, quietly excited and impressed by the visual presentation of Tears of the Kingdom. We sort of already have been. Remember the cloud technology? Remember people were like Digital Foundry were all like, how the hell is Switch processing volumetric clouds? And then on closer examination, it's not volumetric clouds, but it's so damn good at what it's doing that it looks like volumetric clouds. Imagine alternative technologies Nintendo is implementing in this Zelda game to make it look the best that it can. And this could be one of the ways even that could actually help affect volumetric clouds and make them work better or the pseudo fake volumetric clouds that look like volumetric clouds. So there's more than one way to skin a cat is what we're seeing here. And I absolutely think this is going to be applied on tears of the kingdom. I can't wait. Of course, tears of the kingdom could come soon enough. Seriously. I need it injected into my brain right now. Now, later we're going to have a video about tears of the kingdom being delayed. Uh, there seems to be a lot of people in this conversation is coming up more and more uh, that think the game's going to be delayed again. I don't know why. Maybe we'll talk about that on tonight's live stream. I, I, I get concerns because you haven't seen the game or people thinking there's hardware coming this year or whatever excuses you want to throw out there. I think there's a lot of them that I'm seeing at this point. I just... I'll talk about this later. You know, for now, let's focus on this patent. I'll link the patent down below so you guys can dig through it yourself. Obviously, you're going Japanese to English translations with Google Translate or whatever translating tool you want to use. So nothing's, nothing's going to be exact here, but what is exact is the person who invented it and it being filed by Nintendo and then obviously what it's attempting to do in freeing up some processing by basically presupposing and predicting textures through surfaces onto similar surfaces on the other side before the player gets there freeing up that load so it's not like a you go around the corner and it's got to load it in it's already preloaded and ready to go so again it's going to be quite interesting to see how this works thank you so much for tuning in and i will catch you guys in that next video